trip show. Yo, this is test one. Yeah, yeah, this is Smooth Jilla. Smooth G, aka the general. This is normally Ray. Tune in to GFG TV. Right. Tune in to GFG TV. General, we rocking with GFG TV, my boys. West West. And you're watching uh, GFG TV. West YouTube, it's your boy Big Ray West. You tuned in to GFG TV. Shit, this is Big Flo. You're tuned in to GFG TV. Yes. So I'm doing pretty good right now. You feel me? Hey. And I ain't no A. Hey, I ain't no bandwagon jumper. No. All right. I've been a Chief fan since '92. You know what I mean? Let, let me break this down straight up. Started off, I was a Bo Jackson fan. All right. So my favorite squad was the Raiders. You know, he played, he played for the Raiders and he played baseball for the Royals. All right. He got hurt. I went to the I went to the 49ers. Now that was kind of a bandwagon jumper type shit because they was they was smashing shit back then with Joe Montana and Roger Craig, Ronnie Lott, mm -hmm. all them cats. Oh, yeah. So then in about 90, 93 or something like that, man, I I uh, was watching the game, man, and ran across this cat called Christian Okoye, the Nigerian the nightmare. Nigerian nightmare. <laughs> the Nigerian nightmare, dog. I said, what? Burying that? motherfuckers. Nigga, running back. You feel me? Yeah. Coming through the hole like, man, <laughs> it ain't even worth it, dog. Just let me go. Worthy. You know what I mean? Christian Okoye. I've been a Chief fan ever since. You know what I'm saying? As far as the Lakers, man, you know, I'm a Kobe fan. So. R.P. Kobe. R.P. Kobe, you know what I mean? So I'm a Kobe fan, man. So uh, that's why I, that's why I was a Laker fan. Before Kobe, wasn't no Laker fan. Got to watching Kobe get down, do his thing. Shit, I've been a Laker fan ever since. You know what I'm saying? When he left, retired, I stayed with the Lakers. <sighs> Had some turbulence, man. <laughs> Shit. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. That's real talk. And now we're back. Yeah. So that's what it is. That's sports right there for you. Yep. So, how did it feel uh, seeing the Chiefs win the Super Bowl in 2020? Felt good, man. Felt good. Cause they sucked for a lot of years, dog. I'm like, damn. I did a lot of cussing at the TV, man. I did a lot of cussing at the TV, dog. You know, felt hopeless. Like, pfft. I'm about to make me want to jump teams. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it, man. Ain't no, ain't no fun of that. Stick with your squad, man. When they come around, it'll be the, it'll taste that much sweeter, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm a Jets fan, so trust me, I know. Right, I'm, right. I'm living the process right yeah, now. Yeah, living that. <laughs> I'm man. living it hard. Right, no doubt. I wear that one hard, man. No doubt. But uh, you ever play any sports? Yeah, I played shit, basketball, football, baseball, you know what I mean? Back when I was like elementary, middle school, you know what I'm saying? By the time I got to like seventh grade, like I said, man, when I was about 13, that's when my, my life started changing. <laughs> my interest shifted, mm -hmm. you feel me? Yeah. I lost the love of all that shit. So, uh, you know, what do you think of the whole coronavirus pandemic? Yeah, that shit, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what to think, man. Uh, I know it's it's here. <laughs> it's been here for a while. Looks like it's here to stay for a while, man. I'm trying to stay out the way, dog. That's all I can do, man. As far as that, I'm not up to no conspiracy theories and none of that shit like that, man. I just, I know it's real. And I'm ducking, man. Keep my family safe, homie. Especially how Iowa's kind of taken... You know, we, they didn't push it at first, and now they really starting to push it, and then you see that they're really starting to push masks now, like, way late, you know. It's weird, man. It's, it's a spiking. weird time. It's spiking again, man. I think yeah. they need to lock the schools down, man. They, you know, that shit. They should have never been open. Yeah, they really shouldn't have, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's scary when they put your kids out there like that. On everything, man. Them little kids, they're not responsible enough to be safe, man. They're they taking the mask off, playing with it, shooting them at each other and shit. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I've done Slaying same shit. at each other. That's kid shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Teacher got to keep stopping. Put your mask on. Put your mask on. Shit, man. Recess. I don't even know what, man. It's dangerous. Dangerous yeah. deal, man. It is. You vote this year? Yes, I did. For sure. For How do you sure. feel about that outcome? 
Hey man, congratulations to Biden. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing. Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. You know, let's we'll see how he does. Definitely. See how his decision making impacts the country. Yeah. Give him a chance. The most uh, votes ever for a president. Right? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's because the fellas can vote now. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. That's what that is. That's, right. That's where they came from. Yeah. Felons. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is bullshit. Right. Felons should already, man, you motherfucking uh, citizens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's crazy. We ain't got no say so who the fuck run this shit. Yeah, it was already stupid. That's cool. Yeah. Exactly. And like, okay, you get busted with a little bit of weed, you know what I mean? No guns for you ever for the rest of your life. It's like, Can't what protect the yourself. fuck are you talking about? You Can't protect yourself. Mean? Let somebody kick the door in yeah. and kill you. No. You have some In America. I can imagine, man, you fuck up with a gun, you fucking can't have a gun, you know, okay, I understand that shit, but you know what I mean? You fucking fuck up with a stick, and you know what I mean? Motherfucker, you can't have it. Like, I don't get that shit. Never yeah. got that shit. Yeah, man, hey, trust me. I concur. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> on, the, on another topic, LeBron or Jordan? LeBron or Jordan, damn. That's even harder now. A harder conversation. It gets harder as the years go for, you know. I'm going to say this, man. LeBron. LeBron. Dude, has, that an animal, has that changed for you recently? And that doesn't... That I wouldn't say change. I never really... I never really... It's hard to compare, man. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to compare, man. But when I look at it, I'm looking at the shit LeBron's doing. The passes he's making, the rebounds he's getting, the records he's breaking, shit, how big he is, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He can't be stopped without being fouled, you know what I'm saying? Not any one man can stop this fool, period, you know what I'm saying? He, no, can, play, he, he, can, he can literally play any position on the court. And there's a lot of up and downs and back and forths. We can sit here, statistics, serenes and shit, but at the end of the day, man, mm, I'll tell you like this. LeBron is a player. Jordan for shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. There you go. I mean, man, I hate to say that, man, but you know what I mean? I fuck with Jordan, man, but, you know. My Plus, Le LeBron is way more active in the community and outspoken. He is. He's a different character, man. I... I He's not afraid to speak out at all. No doubt. And he's humble. He ain't been in one fight yet. I don't know how that's possible. I ain't never seen him in a fight. Under more, you know, a finer microscope than Jordan was ever because we're, we're living in the social media world now. And, mm -hmm. the, there were, you know, back at the time that Jordan was popular, it was a lot easier to have your, your you know, your, your privacy. And things weren't always blasted, you know. Look at you. You, you can't. TMZ is just like a little fraction of it, you know. Look at what happens with social media. You can't, you can't even make a funny face, you know what I mean, without somebody memeing your life away. You know? mm -hmm. And look, dude, have, they have nothing on, dude. They have nothing on. Right. <laughs> all they can say is That's at weird. this point, you know, all they could do is just be like, "Well, Jordan's better." You know? <laughs> you can't even honestly say that. I mean, no. man, That's I'll be honest. I don't know all the statistics. I don't know I mean, all the numbers. You know. It's a feeling, and, and here's the thing for me, sports has always been a feeling, you know, like certain players give you, the, you know, they give you that feeling like they, you know, regardless, you're watching greatness. Okay. I know when I was watching Jordan, I was watching greatness, and I know when I'm watching LeBron, I'm watching greatness, so regardless, okay. I don't know if I have to really throw those two head to head, but. I would say, I like the way Jordan moved, you know what I'm saying, smooth, just like Kobe, mm -hmm. smooth, you know what I'm saying, there wasn't huge guys, you feel me? It would come to the hole, take it on anybody, win, lose, or draw. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they were just spooled, man. You know, Jordan was what, 6'6? Six, six. Kobe was what? 6'7. Six, 6'7. Six, Going up against Giants, yamming on their ass. You know what I'm saying? But they can't play center. LeBron can. Or you can bring it up, bring it up to court and make game winning passes all day. Yeah. He's, he, what, his assists? Come on, man. Mm -hmm. He's an animal, man. I mean, sit your ass, LeBron or Jordan. You know, hey, I'm gonna say LeBron. Shit. 
What do you think of LeBron winning his fourth ring with the Lakers? Man, that's dope. Super dope, man. He deserved it. He worked hard. He worked hard. He made a team. Shit. Well, where do you where do you feel you guys would be if you guys didn't bring him in? You know, just from a, a, an honest, the guy's amazing player, and you know, it, he we won a one. We won a one. Do you no think the rebuilding process started around him? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, he, he, he picked that team. He sat there with all the owners and the coach and was like, yo, let's get in, let's get in, let's get in, let's get in. Or you're fired and you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. It worked, man. And it worked. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up, man. Enjoy so for you, I mean, like you said, you've already touched on. It. You've been a fan for a long time, but you had the Lakers, you had the Chiefs, you have you've had some good sports luck recently. Obviously, you haven't had that your whole life. We know that. Um, you know, a little switch up. What what are your some of your favorite movies? Favorite movies? I mean, a hey, you know, typical black people shit. Harlem Nights, Boys in the Hood, Menace, Belly. You know what I mean? All that, all the you know. But outside of outside of that stuff, man, you know, I like uh karate movies, man. I like karate movies, man. Shit, anything with fighting, action, you know, violence. I don't say violence, but shit is what it is. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, this is what we call the raid, man. The raid part two, probably the dopest karate movie I've ever seen. That's that's one of my favorite movies. I like Underworld. Like Underworld. Yeah, those are good movies. You know what I mean? They say they be beefing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They, oh, yeah. they get at it. It's like Bloods and Crips type shit or something, <laughs> man. You know what I mean? Uh, the Predator. The Predator. That's my dude. Shit, uh. Yeah, I would say I would say stuff like that, man. That I get off the top of the head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah for sure. What's a typical weekend like for you nowadays? Shit. Typical weekend, man. Hey. Chilling, laid back, throw some meat on the grill, watch the games, chill at the crib, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, slide up the street, mom dude's crib, with, chill with the homies for a while, a few hours, man, head on back home, just relax, man, definitely no, no crazy shit no more, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, the, the risk taken as a, uh, you know, it has decreased dramatically in my life, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shit, so stay out the way, man. Stay out the way, man. That's tough. Real talk. Any shout outs? Man, shout out, man. Uh, shout out to Iowa, man. Shout out to uh, everybody trying to do it up in here, trying to get out of here, man, and make some good money, take care of their family, however they need to do it, man. The rap scene or, or anything else, man. Shout out to everybody, man, you know. Shout out to... Oh, GFG Records family, you did what I'm saying, doing that thing. They continue doing that thing, keep the momentum going. Blow up, man. That's what's up. Oh. That's West YouTube. It's your boy Big Ray West. You tuned in to GFG TV. <laughs>